McDowell Fellow, author, director of the National Endowment for the Arts under Bill Clinton, and a former McDowell board member, Tony and Emmy award-winning actress, Jane Alexander. I'm pleased to talk about the creation of the Marion McDowell Arts Advocacy Award. First, let me recognize the generous support of Agnes Gund, who is underwriting the award. Aggie, your life as an advocate for the arts, fostering programs ranging from arts education to art in prison reform is awe-inspiring. Artists present us with many things. For one thing, they tell me about my fellow human beings and about myself. They help me explore what may be at the forefront of my mind, the COVID-19 pandemic, the climate crisis, Black Lives Matter, the myriad ways diversity is stifled, suppressed, or killed. If our changing world needs interpretation, the arts will provide it. Sometimes they reveal solutions, always possibilities. Artists do this vital creative work, but without audiences, art lovers, advocates all, the arts do not come alive. Marion McDowell made a lifelong commitment to support creativity when she founded McDowell. A gifted pianist in her own right, Marion said, the fostering of a great creative gift was an infinitely higher mission than interpreting the work of others. I am a very ordinary woman who had an opportunity and I seized it. By being a champion of fellow artists, she nurtured the careers of thousands, all of whom in their own way have helped to shape our world, which is why in these pivotal times, we introduce the Marion McDowell Award in Arts Advocacy. This award is meant to put a spotlight on individuals and organizations doing important work for artists, helping provide greater equity and access and supporting careers. Here to introduce the inaugural recipient of the Marion McDowell Award in Arts Advocacy, please welcome the president of the Ford Foundation, Darren Walker. Thank you, Jane, for your remarkable leadership in the arts. You have impacted our nation in such positive ways, and we are especially grateful for your commitment to the arts and arts advocacy. I also want to welcome the brilliant Nell Painter. I can't think of a better person to be at the helm of the board of the national cultural treasure that is McDowell. I look forward to seeing how your vision, Nell, your advocacy, your art, and your intellect inform the coming years of McDowell's program. At the Ford Foundation, we believe that the American cultural landscape rests on the legacy of great institutions like McDowell and depends on the creation of new innovative platforms. And that brings me to our honoree, the incomparable, genius, dazzling Ava DuVernay. Ava formed Array in 2012 as a multi-platform media company and arts collective based in Los Angeles to amplify independent films by Black artists, people of color, and women filmmakers globally. Today, it has supported numerous impactful works, such as Lingua Franca, which we saw a bit of tonight, the first film directed by and starring a trans woman of color in screen competition at the 2019 Venice International Film Festival, and Burning Cane, the 2019 Tribeca Film Festival Founders Award winner. Tonight's award is underwritten by that great firefighter for justice and friend of Ava's, Agnes Gund, chairman of MoMA PS1 and a philanthropist who has supported the work of so many artists over the years. In the steps of Marion McDowell, advocates like Aggie advocate and support organizations like Array so that they can play an important role in engaging and continually reforming our arts ecosystem. So how wonderful that McDowell, the mother of all residencies, is using its platform to elevate and promote an organization who is doing such important work. The partnership between Array 
and McDowell is an exciting and critically important one. The creative process that takes place in residency and the distribution of the resulting work gives artists and their audiences the opportunity to create and share their own vision of the worlds they represent through their art. It is my honor to introduce my extraordinary friend, my Shiro, and the founder of Array, the inaugural recipient of the Marion McDowell Award in Arts Advocacy, Ava DuVernay. Greetings, friends. Thank you, Darren, for that beautiful introduction and for being a dear friend and supporter of Array. Um, wish I was there with you. Wish I was there with all of you. Wish we were all together. Uh, thank you to Agnes Gunn for underwriting this award. Um, she's a true hero of mine and to be mentioned um, in the same space, the same room, the same breath as um, her in any capacity is always an honor. Uh, on behalf of the entire Array team, I'm thrilled uh, that we are the first recipient of the Marion McDowell Arts Advocacy Award. This award speaks to our life's work and Array's work to amplify stories centered on Black artists and people of color and women of all kinds. And the fact that Ms. McDowell, who also was disrupting the culture by supporting artists from many walks of life back in 1907, and who embodied many of the same principles that I hold dear uh, makes receiving this award all the more singularly special. I'm touched that our Narrative Change Collective Array, which is built on a mission to articulate and amplify stories from the widest range of art makers, is being honored with this award in her name. And I really look forward to cultivating a partnership between Array and McDowell to enable more artists of color specifically women, to be a part of the residency program in the coming years. Um, thank you for having me tonight. Thank you for um, creating space for Array and for all the artists that we support and all the artists that you support. And um, it just really feels beautiful to hold hands with you. So thank you for welcoming us. Good night. <laughs>